What's that going to cause you to do? You want to rob and steal? What's that called? Breaking God's commandments. So your desire, your lust for riches is so much, you're going to go against God's commandments to get the money. That's what get rich or die trying means. You understand that? It means by any means necessary. If I'm going to do drugs, kill, steal, rob, or rape, I'm going to do it. What's that? What do you say? By all means necessary, we're going to fight for our freedom. Read this. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, what came and said unto him? Brother, what's your name? Emmanuel. All right, Emmanuel. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Y'all picture this. Picture Emmanuel is going to Christ and says, Christ, what good thing can I do to get the kingdom? Can I get your kingdom? What can I do? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? So Christ is saying, Don't call me good. If Christ said, You'll be confused, right? Because he did a lot of good things, did a lot of miracles. But Christ says, Don't call me good. There is none good but one. There is none good but one that is God. Meaning, give all praises to the Father. That's because this rising is orchestrated by Him. That's so regardless of what's your lot, you got to remember to stay humble. And give praises to the Father because ultimately He is the force behind this. That's right. Really. But if thou will enter into life, but if you want the kingdom, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Keep God's commandments. Don't labor to be rich. Read on. And He said unto him, Which? Jesus said. So He's asking them. The man is asking Jesus, Which commandments would I keep? Read. Jesus said. Thou shalt do no murder. Do you murder? Do you murder? Do you murder? Do you murder? I'm going to tell you all this. You want a pen? Somebody give me a pen. It says, do no murder. Read. Do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. The Bible says, don't commit adultery. Don't steal a man's wife. Thou shalt not steal. Don't steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Don't lie on your brother. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor your father and your mother. Hear this word. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. This is keeping all God laws. Because in loving your neighbor, you're not going to steal his wife. You're not going to steal from him. You're not going to rob him. You're going to keep all God laws. You understand that? Read on. The young man said unto him, all these things I have kept from my youth up. He says, look, Father Christ, that simple things I can do that. I've been doing it from my youth, a grown man. Read. What lack I yet? He says, what do I lack? That's easy for me to say. Read. Jesus said unto him, Listen, kid, if thou will be perfect, if you want to be perfect at keeping his laws, read, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. What is Christ doing there? Christ sees a fault in his spirit. Christ says, if you want to be perfect, go and sell all that you have. Not all that you have will be without. Do it all. Go and sell your house and you only got one. Sell all the extra that you have. The excess. When he says, labor not to be rich. So we don't need to have a choice. We don't need to have two mansions. Christ says, sell the excess that you have. And come and follow me. And come and follow him. Come and labor in this street to raise up your people. That's what the man says. But when the young man heard that, saying he went away sorrowful. What did the man do? He went away sad. Why? Because he was not willing to give up his riches. So what does that tell us? Riches should not be on the top of our minds. That's right. You understand that? Because now it's going to put you in a position to be focused on your treasures rather than the heaven that you're supposed to be focusing on. You understand that? So as men, our responsibility is to do what? Wake up the nation of Israel. Get our people right. With that, we're going to get a kingdom like what Christ said. Our kingdom comes what? With a kingdom comes what? Riches! And this riches is never gonna end. That's right. 
the richest you can get on earth is going to be stubborn. We read the scripture earlier. All this is in Chinese man, your Chinese stairs will be stubborn. We got the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 44. Huh? And in the days of these kings, and in the days of what? These kings. Is it America a kingdom? The Romans were a kingdom. The Medes and Persians and Babylonians, they were kingdoms. We shall the God of heaven, shall the what? God of our fathers, our God. We set up a kingdom. Set up a what? A kingdom. Set up a kingdom. Meaning, in these last days, God is setting up his kingdom. We are taking it right now. We're ushering God's kingdom on earth. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We are bringing God's kingdom on earth. Why are we in this oppressive system ruled by America, ruled by the European Union? God is going to set up a, key, a kingdom in these last days. So we are witnessing right now with your own eyes is this prophecy being fulfilled. Read. The God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Never be destroyed. Everlasting riches. That's right. That's what we got to be laboring for. Laboring for. The kingdom of God where we riches are never going to be destroyed. Don't chase after no ten thousand dollars. Don't chase after no alien no primo, primo. Chase after the building up of God's kingdom. When you hear this scripture, you gotta ask yourself, where do I fit in in this prophecy? You don't understand that? You're gonna start asking yourself that question right now. But first, it starts with what? Getting your minds right. Getting Christianity out your brain. Getting religion out your brain. Getting the world out your brain. You done there? Where are we? And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. And the kingdom is only going to be for our people. Only going to be for the Israelites. Really? But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. What did the Bible say? It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Christ's kingdom that he's establishing right now, Christ's kingdom he's establishing right now is going to destroy all these kingdoms. Us going out and saying, keep God laws is destroying America. How? America says every man to their own order. Us saying, keep God laws, that's destroying his kingdom. America's kingdom, put this sign up. Somebody give me the sign. America's kingdom, look. Look here, what is this? America's kingdom, what is this image here? This image tells us what their kingdom stands for. Yeah. The Bible says, read about that part. And it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. This is the symbol of America, white supremacy. That's right. Oscar wanna teach you, hey, the Bible says Christ is black, God shows his people are black, the Israelites are black, God, the angels are black. We're destroying white supremacy. We're destroying this oppressive kingdom. Right. We know what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna, y'all gonna catch the train. Y'all gonna catch the train, you can't sit any longer and wait for the other nations to build this up. So I've been speaking for a while. You done there, right? I've been speaking for a while. Y'all gonna have some questions. Questions. What about right here? Oh, give me a Becca. Give me one more Becca. What Becca have I? One more. One more. One more. One more. One six. Let me show y'all something. Listen to this, right? You have a... Um, Saved up some money, you finally get the savings going. And then all of a sudden, the money gone? You know what it done? You hold on to this money for months, you say, hey, they say you'll catch me in hard times by the time you look left, look where the money gone. You check your pocket and see the pocket get a hole. Then what happened to you? That's God. Read the scripture. The book of Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 5. 
Now therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. God just consider your ways. Are you laboring to bring God's kingdom or are you laboring for riches? We. You have sown much and bringing little. You've sown much. You're working 12 hours a day. You're in the mines. You're working for 12 hours a day. 10 years later, you still ain't got much in. God said, you have sown much, but brought in little. Read, you eat, but have not enough. You said you're eating, but you're always hungry. Read, you drink, but you're not filled with drink. You're drinking, but you're always thirsty. Read, you clothe you, but there is none warm. You said you wear clothing, but you still feel something is not enough. Read on, and you that earned wages, you that earned wages, he that earned wages, come across, bro, come across. It says, he that earned wages, earned wages to put it into a bag with holes. Y'all missed that part. Your eyes went straight. God says what? He that earned wages, he that earned wages, says to you too. He that earned wages, earned wages to put into a bag filled with holes. It's like you think of your salary. And you put in a bag with holes. God says that's going to be the cry of all people. We take it our salary and put in a bag with holes because why? We're laboring for riches and not laboring to usher God's kingdom in. That's why your money always done in. That's why I'm never going to have enough. Just say the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Not just consider your ways. Are you for me? Or are you for this kingdom? Bring it out. Are you for building up of your people? Or are you for the refueling of this oppressive kingdom? You have to ask yourself that question. Read. Verse 8. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build a house. And what? Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build a house. But then we have to build a temple. But now, what's the temple? What's God's temple today? What? The church? Give me that real quick. It says... Bro, take two minutes, bro. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes after the scripture touch the cross. Read this. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You hear what the Bible says? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. The Bible says we are the temple of God. You all hearing that? We are the temple of God. Go back to Haggai. Haggai chapter 1 verse 8. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build a house. Build God's house. Build God's temple. And I will take pleasure in it. And God will take pleasure in us building up our nation today. Read. And I will be glorified, say the Lord. You look for much, and lo, it came to little. God says, you look for much, and it came to little. Read. And when he brought it home, I did blow upon it. What did God do to your money? Blow upon it. So you put your mind down, God said. The money going to blow away. Because why? Read on it. Why? Say the Lord of hosts is going to tell you why. Why you're never going to keep your money. Read. Because of my house that is waste. And ye run every man unto his own house. Everybody focus on building up himself. Meanwhile, God's kingdom, God's people lay waste. Lay destroyed. We fill the prison houses. We fill the juvenile system. We fill the hospitals. Meanwhile, you're chasing after money. Meanwhile, you chase after women. Meanwhile, you chase after the young girls. God says, I'm going to blow on your money. I'm going to blow on your riches. Because what? Because of my house, that is waste. And you run every man unto his own house. And you run every man to their own comfort. You live in for your comfort. You talk about I. It's about me. I, I, I. God says, no. Why you folks and I, I, the Lord, will blow on your riches. So our mindset should be to build up the nation of Israel. That's God's temple. We're God's temple today. That's right. And the only way we can do that is if we form, give me Romans 12, is if we form, we form our minds.
you. Yeah. But if you stand in the way, then you gon' rule the day when we have to dissect you. Rain fire upon the tempter. Woo, it's hot, take the temperature. Yeah. The promise is back. Yeah, and they black. Grab a long yeah, yeah, yeah. When you hear that thunder, it's lightning. Go check on the weatherman. I'm just saying, can't think of a better plan than obeying the lamb. Anything else is a scam. Need Bruce to get shot in this war hey. time. It's a sea of that purple, no short line. Hey. Cause we breaking the mold and changing the game. with zero emojis, flame, flame, flame. Turn it down. Yeah, you know that it's lit. Ain't no turn it down. Yeah, we running this race and we get a crime. Then we stop on the heat until he hit the ground. Yeah, we trading the wine press. End of that kingdom, no time left. No end of our kingdom is timeless. Gang yourself when you find. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 